Hello, I'll be reading the Hossam as my poem. My name is Julia. Um, in the dry summer heat, the mountain cried and wept. Oh, the great mountain, covered in the blood of the fallen, so fresh and young, yet the stain so dry and old. As the mountain cried an ocean, it wasn't enough to wash away the look and the smell of iron. The Hossam was a gangly looking thing with arms of a spider and a face that didn't look up. A million eyes like that of a black tire with grotesque scaly wings that covered its body. It had a bosom as red as black. It traveled delicately and made itself match with the fragile flowers. In the land of the doves, the thing appeared angelic as it faced the hawks and birds of prey that had long terrorized doves. This thing went and stood in front of the birds of prey. They laughed and pecked at it, considering it a toy. Yet a miracle burst from this small insect as faced with the determined thing, the birds of prey flew away. The doves cooed happily and in so, this thing was given the name of Hassem as he had faced the birds of prey with courage and delivered the kingdom from tyranny. Leader of the land, this small thing had become as the doves cooed and called, courage, courage for the Hassem flies so delicately on this earth. All insects were allowed to come into the land of doves as it was in honor of and respect to the Hassam. Over the mountain on the other side, many enemies watched and waited. And as all the doves drank and became drunk on nectar, the doves shouted blessings on the Hassam's name. The Hassam quieted them and their children to bring about news that had befallen the land. He said, over the mountain, the gobblers have declared war. They subsided with the nitwits, the fowls, the pigeons, and the vultures. They come in great numbers with sticks and aid and hearty meals eaten. But do not fear, have courage, everyone. We will win. And there was not a doubt in no one's mind and continued no doubt long, long, long after the war ended. He sent the chicks and kissed every cheek and told them, I love you. Proudly, he sent the chicks to the mountain where the gobblers of nitwits, the fowls and the vultures swooped in and broke skin, bone, neck and neck. Those who had survived used up their feathers to the point of journey and walked to the edges of the mountains and jumped believing that the Hassem had prepared a safe journey into the other side to secure victory. Splat, did each and every dove chick fall, leaking droplets of blood, oh, how their souls cried out, believing their death was necessary. The Hassem appeared with a fuller and redder bosom, beating his wings with a shrill, long pacing, and what came out was the sound of insanity, as of a million violins played the lightest chord with fumbling hands in unison, and with this symbolic sound of a predator hunting prey, continued to send each and every chick to the edge. Eventually the war ended, both the enemies and the Hassem claimed victory, one spilling truth to its people, the other spilling lies. Now the mountains died red. Some woke up mid-trance and remembered their great ancestor who crossed ocean to find new land aside from the ark. And so who could flew over the ocean and escaped. Most of the chicks and doves that survived escaped to the border, but had they not known that they entered the mouth of where the Hassem, who is the gangly thing, lives. So the mountain cries at the extinction of the white dove, the foolish birds who forgot how to spell Messiah, who forgot the face of the real living savior from the time of the ark. That's my poem. Thank you so much.